Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we're diving into the stats ahead of the Chelsea v Crystal Palace match. Let's get started. Did you know that Chelsea has been dominating their matches against Crystal Palace? They've won their past 11 Premier League games against them, which is their second longest winning streak in their league history. The only team they had a longer winning run against was West Brom. But it's not just Chelsea's winning streak that stands out. Crystal Palace has been on the receiving end of 11 consecutive defeats against Chelsea, making it their longest losing run against any opponent in their league history. Ouch. And here's an interesting fact. In the past 24 Premier League meetings between Chelsea and Crystal Palace, not a single game has ended in a draw. The last time a top-flight fixture had a longer run without a draw was way back between Blackburn Rovers and Tottenham Hotspur, who went 31 meetings without a draw from 1928 to 1997. But wait, there's more. Chelsea has been finding their form at home, winning their past two Premier League games at Stamford Bridge. This is as many wins as they had in their previous 17 home games. Can they make it three in a row this time? Speaking of Chelsea, their boss Mauricio Pochettino seems to have a winning formula against Crystal Palace. He's won 11 out of his 13 Premier League meetings with them, more than any other opponent. Pochettino knows how to get the job done. Now, let's talk about Odson Edouard from Crystal Palace. He started off strong in his first four Premier League London Derby games, scoring four goals. But in his subsequent 17 such appearances, he's only managed to score three goals. Will he find his scoring boots again in this match? There you have it, folks. These are the pick of the stats for the Chelsea v Crystal Palace match. Stay tuned for more football news and updates. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to never miss a video from Football News Center. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.